Let's go to Team Star. Uh, we set our destination. Let's run on our bicycle dragon. Whoa! Hi. I got a root. I got a root right here. I got a root canal. All right. Ah, look at my dragon fly. Look at my flying bicycle dragon. Oh, can't climb hills. Damn it. <laughs> Presumably that's the last power is just the ability to climb, right? Because it can glide now, right? So... Uh, oh, there's Clive. There he is. There, there's our there's our pompadoury, uh, not the headmaster of the school. It's you, Luffy. I mean, oh, it's you, Luffy. Uh, Clive, right? Yeah. Yep, that's me, Clive, the normal academy student. Anyway, Luffy, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted to Operation Starfall. We're gonna get Xenoblade released in North America. Uh, that's my end game. <laughs> he will be released in North America. I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star? What's causing its members' odd behavior? Uh, Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know. Some say the bully has caused a worrying number of students to drop out. Others say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the academy. <laughs> These are rumors. The matter I am directly confronted with is something else. Talk about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've all been skipping classes for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year. It seems the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. <laughs> Uh, but I'm just Clive. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with the team. Wow! <laughs> but uh, that's not me. I'm Clive. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, he's being serious. I guess I should give him a serious voice. I never heard you talking to the phone to Cassiopeia. It couldn't have come at a more crucial time. <laughs> uh, it's Cassiopeia. Can you hear me? Uh, another time, then. Be careful. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna be king of the pirates, so I don't have to be careful. I see you're coming up on Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? Is this me? I'm just. This is me. Is a Straw Hat Luffy? Well, we warned the team. Well, we warned the Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. This base will go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. Okay, I'm not worried at all. Look at me go. Here I run to the base. I'm gonna leap over the wall. Okay, not. <laughs> uh, but why though? Why would you do a cutscene right after a cutscene like that? Whoa, whoa, how dare you? Overhead is the base of operations for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know us as the Senkin Squad. Yeah, and we don't take Kylie to run a kiss sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself over around here, amigo, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but are you that Luffy kid? I heard you're gonna be king of the pirates. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be king of the pirates. Hey, I am, he says. Cool as a cucumber. Ozzy's not always the best policy, you know. <laughs> you know what? Doesn't matter who you are, you're not getting through. But as long as we thrash here in battle, kid, well, Luffy. I'll take you on. It's fine. Sassy little kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stopped into the dirt. Look at me stop the dirt. I'm doing this animation. It's a good animation. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi there. Hi there, sweetheart. Okay. Uh, all right. Team Star Grunt. What do you got for me? It's a Murkrow. Oh, this is the dark one. It's fine, though. Uh, cause, uh, I'm gonna use my murder, uh, my murder girl here. So this is Tank a ton. Uh, yeah, she does collect Warhammer models. Uh, how, how did you guess that one? <laughs> uh, she, I don't know how she's gonna do competitively, cause she doesn't have great stats, but that move is, she has a 160 base power move that, the only downside is she can't use it twice in a row, which, it's a pretty decent downside, which means she can't choice scarf for choice band, but it, it's still, in anyway, it's fine. <laughs> Whatever, finish out the problem for me, would ya, bud? Casta la vista! <laughs> okay, hasta la vista! <laughs> okay. 
Uh, she's in the tea, you know. Why have to have a little chatter about that attitude? Uh, I ain't going to pace that I get the rest of the squad the heads up. Well, come out, you full force, if you step foot inside. You may want to consider turning tail. Good luck to you, amigo. Hasta la vista! Oh, God, these fucking people. <laughs> I do love them. Uh, hi, Cassie Pia. I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Uh, now hold up in the base is Team Star's dark crew, the Sangin Squad. Their boss, Giacomo, pretty much runs this whole of Team Star. And he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy. I heard his name's Toby Fox. Anyway, even the declaration of war won't have riled him in the slightest. His plan is to wear you down with a wave of grunts. Just bring a head on attack. Just keep, just keep burning, burning him down. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um... So, uh, yeah, so it's one of these again where I only need the three members of my squad in the front. So, with that in mind, because they're the dark gym, I'm going to, uh, let's just run these three, because we've used Josuke enough. <laughs> and now that we're really using the Pokemon, we're just sending them out for auto battles anyway. So, really, it doesn't matter outside of our, our lead mons, which one we use anyway. So, uh, okay. So, uh, Clive's here with us again. So that kid left in the base, beating one of our sister squads, and now he thinks he can take us on. Let's show this Gate Crasher what T-Star can do. And if you're listening, Gate Crasher, know this. We have no snacks for you in the cafeteria. Aww. It's 30 and 10 again. I'm so uninterested by that. It's, it's, it's not a challenge in that way. <laughs> Okay, uh, I guess it is slightly more of a challenge because we these guys only have weaknesses to ground, but it's fine <laughs> we're, we're not in any danger Because <laughs> all, all these battles are done like immediately like 10 minutes is way too long of a time frame uh, They got pawnee yards. It's fine. Ba Bam! Ba Bam! Uh, cloth might be the only one that has a problem with that, but even cloth seems like he did an okay job <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's roam around here. Let's find more of these guys. Oh, it's Zora. I love Zora. I also love how they're hidden in the overworld, and they're very hard to find, but I've, I've managed to catch a few of them. <laughs> Mostly by accident, but, uh, yeah. Sableyes. Okay. All right. Murder the Sableyes. Although, yeah, okay. We did it. We did it. Come on back there. Uh, come on back there, Billy. Come on back there, Billy. All right, go ahead and dig out the uh, dig out the skunk Pokemon right there. <laughs> okay. All right. I mean, I do appreciate this more than I would appreciate fighting 30 grunts worth of Pokemon. So, in that regard, this is a great mode. I I just wish there was more of a challenge to this or something. But I, I guess it's a good way to deal with auto battles, I suppose. So it. Yeah, my, my problems are minimal when it comes to that, I guess. I don't know. Uh, all right. Go ahead and bur mal bur murder, the, murder the bird right there. Murder the bird. Go murder the bird there, Clawful. Why are you not going, Clawful? Murder the birds. Murder the bird, Clawful. Go murder the birds. Why are you not name me Claw that Man? Let me Claw that Man voice right here. Oh, it's Needle. I'm a bird, Needle. Look, you're going the wrong way, Tinker Tuck. Going the wrong way for the K. Go murder all the foxes. Murder all the foxes. Don't that's gonna edit that joke out because that's very bad. Go 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 murder all the fish sharp over here. Go to Pawnee Earth. There's baby birds, baby birds right there. Go ahead and murder the baby birds. Clawful, where are you going? I told you to go battle the things there, Clawful. My Pokemon got zero damage on them. This is very bad. He's way above our level. He over leveled to get here. Boss, come help us, yo. <laughs> okay, another vehicle. I mean, the vehicles are cool, but what do they add to the equation is what I'm confused on. <laughs> okay, well, uh, this is the guy. That's Giacomo. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. I'm sorry if you're Spanish and I'm butchering it wrong. I'm not a, sorry if you're Australian or Italian or English and you don't like any of my other accents. The Spanish I understand. The other ones, fuck you. <laughs> uh, you done a real number on us, party crasher. Loof it, was it? 
I'm Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Oh, he's a DJ. Fuck this guy. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry. I'll play you a sick requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. Hmm? Okay. I mean, I guess we get to listen to the cool gym theme as I'm murdering him. That's great. I love that. <laughs> all right. There he is. Look at him, DJ Go. He's got, he's got, he's got Guzma kind of vibes. Yeah. Okay. What well, are you sending out first? Pontiard. Uh... Well, I can't mer do I have a I might have a do I have a punching move on her? I think I might actually I can't remember. <laughs> okay, well let's listen to these sick tombs. I do! Oh it's only level twenty one. Well you're definitely hella dead. <laughs> uh I mean, part of the problem is I don't know what level I should be at is, is it's part of the big problem with these battles. <laughs> uh alright. Time to turn up the tempo, the show ain't over yet. <laughs> Oh, is all he had just a Pontiard in the, the vehicle? Oh, this one has Intimidate for some reason? <laughs> uh, okay, well, let's go ahead and play rough. Oh, cause he's dark. it's a dark type because of the vehicle. Okay, oh. You're definitely hella dead then. Okay. Play rough! Bam! <laughs> uh, I murder, I murder Corbinites. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you can't do anything to me. Bring it on. If you're a poison type, you still could not do anything to me. I don't care. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ba bam <laughs> Uh, oh, it is a different song than the other one. This is more like a, like a... Like, uh, that's interesting. They have different themes. I'm surprised by that. But in any case, uh, boy howdy, you did nothing to me. <laughs> Okay, that's another Team Star Bro down. Guess that's that. <laughs> oh, we get another flashback with him now. Will you make me care about these characters? So they don't. <laughs> uh, okay, what what is your deal? Guess that's that. What's up, Chia Coco? Did something happen? The big boss wanted to take on some stuff, so we had a chance to sell on a few plans. A few plans? Like for what? Operation Starfall, of course. We gotta get Pandora's Tower a sequel. But anyway, you know how tons of new members have just shown up recently? Well, we figured we gotta make some team rules like a code so we'll be all on the same page. Nice. You came up with a great plan for us, won't you, GM Coco? <laughs> no thanks. Way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know, everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Guess we know, because you forced a ton of stuffy rules on everybody and they wouldn't take it. We had some other nerd to replace you after like five minutes. Oh damn, they just shit talk Nimona. I cannot help but concur. No student's hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches beneath the neck and so forth. Your rules were vexation, vexation made manifest. <laughs> My point exactly, so you'll all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you know you what's best for the team, Team Coco. You'll look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck up student council president isn't who you are anymore, man. A code written by the GM of Coco I'm looking at now, I'd follow that any day. <laughs> As would I. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. <laughs> well, I did the best I could. I read that code myself. There's no going back on it now. My days of the boss are over, so take my star badge, would you? <laughs> okay, I'll... Oh, look at that. I took, it, took his hand. Isn't that nice? <laughs> I oh, yeah, this choice TM too. You've earned it. Uh, foul play. Cool. I love foul play. <laughs> These crazy strong mods here. You're like 20 levels higher, dude. Yeah, I'm enjoying the academy, I guess, kind of. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Kim Coco? I was expecting a giant popper to make a guest appearance today. <laughs> you need a quack small to style that up for you? <laughs> Just a quick word. Would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's gonna be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. It seems all of you Team Star are heading for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why won't you break up the team and start attending classes at the Academy again? As what you want to know? The Hows are actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours, you say, are they? <laughs> They're the only the strongest boss at all of Team Star. Like, I was a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the ones who invited us to other bosses to form the team. We call them 
big boss. Uh, it's Snake. It's Snake. Da, 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 da. We thought that it would be Team Star and keep going. Then they get back in touch with David. The teens keep pressing us to call quits. And then your party crashes like you two. And the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about bringing up the team all before and all. So Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you. <laughs> this is Sky Blue. They might have words you egg heads at the Academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Oh shit! The One Piece is real! I don't know if that's the case. <laughs> uh, not not in this instance. There'll be other instances I put I pushed that one too far. I pushed that one too far. <laughs> okay, that's another team star base done. We did it! Okay. Uh hi Cassiopeia. Luffy, it's me. I take it Dia Cormo's star badge is now in your possession. Hey, great, great, I see. With our boss out of the picture, the second squad is pretty much done for. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, Kia Como. Huh? Oh, it's, oh, this, this guy, oh, that girl is big boss. That's what we're learning here. I gotta check, no matter your word, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. I'm a fucking god. <laughs> you can now make more TMs in the TM machine. Use those strings here. I'll be bringing some sort of supplies, too. <laughs> so she's the big boss is what we're learning here. Hello, it's me again from the supply unit. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't trust this girl. I don't trust her. She's big boss material right here. What the heck? <laughs> uh, I smell something on her. Uh, she smells like sandwiches. I'm looking the good shit out of her there. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was a thing. Sorry, my bicycle dragon gets out of hand. It's a thing. It makes the screen go black for longer than it should. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for going to black to load a cutscene that we didn't need to. What even is that Pokemon anyway? I have- It's really awesome, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, is it really that special? Before I forget, here's your reward. <laughs> I received lots of materials. That's vague, right? Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? They're not all that. Uh, that's a pretty fair bet. <laughs> uh, interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. I don't care about that. I'm going to be king of the pirates. <laughs> but I got into info by hacking other students' social media accounts. I also found out about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses, someone who recruited them to the Team Star in the first place. I don't normally talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. <laughs> so good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. <laughs> Maybe she isn't the boss. I thought she was the boss. Who knows? Who knows? That's some lore right there. That's some lore right there. You know what? I'm feeling this is going to be a double episode. Let's go tackle one more Team Star base. Because that one was very disappointing in terms of could they actually do something for me. What's the deal with the Ninja Bro? Let's go battle the Ninja Bro. 